Hello again and welcome back to JDM Escape. So today we're working on the Subaru, my daily driver as it, as it has been for quite some time, a few years now. Um, the car's been sat around for a few weeks so it's actually out of MOT now so I know that there's some welding to do in the back arches which is why I've got the suspension off on that side and the brakes and the uh, wheels off. So that's what I'm doing first and then I'm going to go around it, see what else it needs and hopefully by the end of this week, it's only Monday now, by the end of this week I'll be able to get in for an MOT and get it back on the road so when the snow comes, if it comes, we can have a bit of fun with it. That'd be nice, that'd be nice. I'm kind of bored of driving the Ford. Let's get to it. Okay, so passenger side of the car is all done. Um, nice clean under there, all sorted out, welded up all the way around it goes, unfortunately. Um, that's all good and back together. Um, other side, we've got pretty much all of it done again, just under seal all that. So that's all nice and black in there now, but up at the top, there's still, there's still a little bit more welding to do, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me, the welder's just died, so. I'm having to wait for another one, which will be about, I don't know, two or three more days, I think he said so. In the meantime, we'll go around it, we'll see what else we can find wrong with it as far as MOT work goes. But other than that, I will be picking this video back up when the welder comes, when the car can be sorted. So in the meantime, um, I've done all the top bits where the turret sits, so I can put the suspension back in, put the wheels back on, and that will be that sorted. So let's do that, and then other seats need to go in as well. So let's do that. So suspension and wheels are back on, um, now I just need to go inside, put the strut tops in and then both parts of the seat. So there we go, seats are back in for now. Um, don't think I need those out again at the moment until we start doing the stereo system on it. Um, so they can stay in for now. Uh, seats are in, wheels are on, it's just a case of cleaning the garage up and I will pick this up next time when the new welder comes. So let's go back to it. So welcome back. Since the last clip, I got the new welder and finished the welding and sent it for an MRT. Now, that is a mixed bag. There's good news, bad news. Bad news first. It failed, obviously, it's a Subaru. It's kind of how it goes. If you expect one of those to pass, you're pretty lucky if yours does pass, but mine didn't, obviously. Um, as I said, I only went through and did the welding, so there's nothing else been done before it. But uh, the reasons that it failed are because of, mainly, the emissions. The emissions are way out. Um, the car's always kind of been this way. It's always kind of been a bit of a, a struggle in a sense because I think the cat that's on it is probably about finished. It's probably not got any kind of efficiency left in it anymore. And the rear subframe has also got two little um, bits of corrosion right where you don't want them, right where the bolts mount up. So um, that's all to be addressed. Um, other little things like um, CB boot, uh, wiper, and anti robot link. So nothing, to, well, I was going to say nothing too serious, but. It is and it isn't, so. Yes, we've got some work to do, and, you know, it's kind of how it is. Yeah, I did expect it. I didn't expect to pass, not for one minute. But, you know, as I said, I did get this side finished, but because uh, of where I was welding, the heat came through the paint and blistered the paint up in a few places, so we had a little bit of exposed metal, so I've, I've laid a bit of primer on that just to keep it protected from the rain for now, because we are painting this car anyway. So that doesn't bother me too much. So, what the plan is from here. We have 
everything on order for this car. I've ordered the subframe, the poly bushes to go with it, one might as well while I'm in there. I've got to take the whole rear end off it anyway to do it, so I might as well do that. Uh, obviously it'll all get under seal while I'm there. And I've also ordered a sports cap and a stainless exhaust because again, that's something I wanted to do at the beginning of next year, but because of the MRT, I need to do it to get the car back on the road. So all that's in order, it'll be here in a couple of days, so that'll get picked up in the next video on this car. And that's kind of where she's at for now. So yeah, waiting for parts, that's where we're at. So as soon as everything comes in, I might as well wait for everything to come together because if anybody's ever taken the rear end off a Subaru, you will know that there's what's called, I forget, I forgot what the name of it is, there's a cool name for it, um, not a cool name, a funny name for it. The long bolt that goes across the rear axle between um, the hub and the track control arms, and that bolt never comes out. So I've ordered everything to replace all that, all the bushes, um, the bolt itself, I think I've actually got a couple of bolts here. So if, and most likely when, that gets that goes wrong we'll have everything to replace it as well as as i said the subframe and the full exhaust system changing that anyway which is as i said what i really want to do so i might as well do it all while i'm there let's be honest so that is the end of this video for now um obviously if you're watching the channel at the moment you know what's going on you know there's two prize draws at the moment one of them is the auto glim um cleaning kit uh, if you haven't seen that go back and watch the other videos uh, that's free to enter, completely free, you don't have to do anything, you just have to follow the instructions in that video which will tell you how to do it. And also we are offering you a chance to win the Mitsubishi FTO. Now, I'm going to clear up a little bit of confusion on this because I keep getting messages like, why, why is it saying free if it's not free? Now, this is where you're not quite getting what I mean. The car's not free to enter, it's free to the winner. And what that means is that the winner will be given a refund on their entry amount, which means they have won the car for free, which is exactly as I've written it. Now, this has been passed as far as legal terms go. This has been passed. It's, it's absolutely fine to do it like this. It is £10 per entry. Tickets have already started selling. We've got quite a few sold already. I don't know the exact numbers at this moment in time, but it's happening. So all these little keyboard warriors that are jumping on it and going, oh yeah, but it's not free. No, it is if you win. It's not to enter. That's the difference. If you want the free entry draw, go and get yourself uh, a go on the um, auto glim cleaning stuff. If you want to actually have a chance to win a car, then you need to pay £10 to get into it. But as I said, if you win, you'll get your money back. So there you go. That's that cleared up for now anyway. Right, I'm going to get on to my next job, which will be a different video. And I will see you once all the parts come for this. We will get it all done. So we won't give these away until we hit... 202 what we have now i want to hit 200 subscribers realistically so this is kind of like a a push as, as far as what's coming goes because there's a, if you watch the civic video you will know a lot about what's coming up on the channel and there's a lot to get into so what you need to do is we need to get up to 200 subscribers before we can give this away which we can hopefully do by sunday the 13th which is four days from now if that happens what we'll do is for you to win these, once you get to 200 subscribers, we need um, you to go to, once you've subscribed, go to our Instagram or Facebook page. If you're not already on there, just go on there, type in JDM Escape, follow that, and just comment on anything, one of the pictures, just comment on there, done. And then if your Instagram name is different to your YouTube name, just after you've put done, comment um, your YouTube name with it. So I know like who to look for, who subscribed, who hasn't. So there you go. So that's all you need to do. So just go on there, subscribe to the channel. Once we get 200 subscribers, we'll give these away. Hopefully, I mean, we're only, I think we're only 100 shy now. So we're just trying to build up from here. Um, as I said, Detail Works have really helped us out with this. So that's, that's really awesome of them. So head over to their uh, website as well. I'll put the link in the description below. And there you go. It's really easy to win. It's really it's free to win. So you've nothing to lose. Just subscribe to the channel. Go tell us that you've done it, and then put your name just after it, your YouTube name, and we'll compare it. So that's all it is. That's how it's going to take. Um, in other news, the as far as the Subaru goes, which is another video I'm filming at the moment, my silver 
Hobby Subaru, as we all call it. Um, that is. I got a lot of the welding done before the old welder died, and if that video is not out yet, sir, that will follow this one, so you'll sort of get what I mean as we go along. Um, but the good news is the new one wasn't supposed to come until later tomorrow, and what I'm aware of is it's coming early, it's coming later today instead, so that's kind of saved as like a dig. Um, so I can hopefully get back to getting that finished tomorrow and finish that video for you as well. So, as far as anybody new goes, we are building a Honda Civic uh, track car to go out next year. We're building the Subaru, which is going to be a street car. Uh, nothing too crazy, a um, few bits and pieces and just make it like a little bit different. A little bit. If you watch the Civic video again, you'll know that I've got a really cool idea for a paint job, but I haven't told anybody what it is yet. Um, as well as that, we are building the um, 99 Subaru Impressor, uh, which is my absolute baby. And that's what inspired this, this, this jumper. And then we've still got the MX-5 to do. And I also bought another Civic yesterday to go as like a, a almost like a parts car for the, for the blue one. So that's coming up as well. And I think that's, that's where we're at for now. And I've got my eye on something else as well, which is partially why I was trying to sell the FTO, but I don't really know. Maybe, maybe, but that'll be coming to the channel next year anyway, so if that goes ahead, that's what'll happen. Um, but yeah, so there you go. So jump in it, make sure you are in it, because you can't win it if you're not, obviously. It's absolutely free to do. All you need to do is go on, the on, on this channel, subscribe to it, go on to Instagram or Facebook and tell us that you've done it and just tell us your name on YouTube and it's as easy as that. So there you go. So the winner will be announced on Sunday, probably uh, kind of late afternoon as far as UK time goes. So it might be slightly different than the countries. We can post these obviously pretty much anywhere, so that's not a problem. Wherever you're from, if you win it elsewhere, we will send it straight to you. That's not a problem at all. And we will also send you some JDM Escape stickers to go with it. Um, yeah, so, and obviously if you haven't yet, jdmescape.com, you can get all this kind of stuff. It's really cool. And it's really comfy as well, so. Right, there you go. I'll stop talking now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time.